What's going on YouTube? Noah back here with another video for y'all today. So today, um, I'm going to showing you my new truck. So, for those of y'all haven't seen my last video, my 2006 F250 with the 5.4 liter that I bought last year, about a year ago, almost today. Um, that, uh, I got in a wreck the other week on 40 and ended up totaling it. It bent the frame. <coughs> that is disgusting, I know. So basically what I ended up doing is uh, insurance gave me a decent amount for it, more than I paid for it, but still not a whole lot when you're looking for a new truck. So that's what we did. Uh, I looked at that. I've been looking around for past couple, past couple of weeks for a new truck. Um, had some cash saved up, so this is what we ended up with. Um, this is a 2013 F. F-250, I thought I don't know why. Uh, F-350, Super Duty, uh, four-wheel drive, long bed, with the five, or the 6.8, no, 6.2 liter uh, gas engine. So, I'm gonna spin y'all around, do your walk around. I have, I have some stuff in it, but whatever. I literally just got this today. So, we'll show you. So, this is my 2000, or my 2013 F-250. Um, it's four-wheel drive, got it like, not a ranch hand bumper, but a ranch hand style bumper. Um, I do like that. I do want to take, I do need to fix, take it off, fix that. I feel like I'm gonna hit something. Fix that, and then uh, it probably won't be right now, probably be this uh, later on this summer or this winter. I want to take the whole bumper off and get it painted. Uh, I'll probably get it powder coated, is what my thought is. Um, I think just going back with black, but we'll wait, we'll see. Maybe I have to do blue, like my safety blue, like everything else is. But anyway, so uh, moving on to four door long bed. Toolbox did not come with that's off my other truck. Uh, four wheel drive, that's nice. Um, FX full, whatever that means. Uh, I think it means it's got a skid plate or two on it. Uh, I think that's what that means, which is always a good thing. Um, so yeah. Basically that, show you the back. Um, it was a company tr owned truck at some point, so. Uh, just nearby, I need to get the new piece of trim. I can order that. I hate that when I get done with this. Uh, what else? Missing one hubcap, but I'm looking at a set of, a new uh, set of rims, so. It's gonna be the same rims. I need a spare tile, so. I actually have that with it so that would work out um what else uh, need some money board i'm either gonna make some or i'm gonna I'll probably just keep my eye out on facebook marketplace and see if somebody takes them off and i'm not buying new ones i'm just not so many people take them off that's really not worth buying new ones um doesn't need a set of tiles they're not terrible but they've seen their better days especially the backs so I'll show y'all what it is. It's what I like in a truck. It is an XLT. Sorry, I got I gotta do this, but it's a vinyl seat. The seat, the interior was in great shape. Um, what else? Yeah, the XLT, but it's XLT with power, which I like. Oh, XL, sorry, XL with power. Um, so it got the power windows, power locks, power mules, heated mules. Um, and you've got all your upfiddle switches, which a little thing that I like about it. I wanted to put these in my other one, but I never got around to doing it. Um, sorry for that beeping. It's a uh, dash cam. But, um, yeah, I've got the flip down. This flips up, and it's a seat, or you can do it like this, and it's just a console. Um, yeah, the vinyl floors, which is awesome. No carpet. Um, then you got, like I said, the vinyl seats which I like um, so and then the back seat is just I think it's about the 60 60 40 split or whatever um, I like how these folds up that's how, that's how my other one was um, I guess check my cool one here at the moment I actually gotta put switch this and my other cool that's in that truck focus back but anyway so that's what we're gonna do next um, yeah, but other than that, I mean, need some tint and needs a spare tire. Needs a couple odds and ends, but nothing too major. Uh, running boards, 
it needs, but I'm gonna find some of them. I'm not in a huge hurry to find them, so I'm just gonna take my time to see what I can find. But yeah, it's, it was a comfy truck. It's pretty good shape. It's got some here and there dents and stuff like that, scratches, but all in all, it's not too bad. Uh, for those of you that wonder, it's got 132,000 miles on it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it worked out pretty good. It, I felt like it's a good deal. It was from West Virginia. There's a couple little things that got some rust on it. Um, I was, wasn't was too concerned about it just because of how the rust was. Um, I've dealt with rust before on multiple vehicles, and I, was, I wasn't too scared of this truck. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. It does have an exhaust manifold, a cracked exhaust manifold. Um, that kind of helped me. I negotiated in a place where I would just fix that. So I gotta actually fix that, but I got a new manifold on order. Let's crank it up. That way you're gonna sound a little loud. But nothing, nothing too crazy. But yeah, runs and drives and then Got a tire model going on, but bugging me, so I'll figure that out. But what I might end up doing, I gotta think about this on my way home today. All right, so this truck, my dad got the same exact truck. Um, this is a 13, his is a 15, same body style, um, four wheel drive, long bed, crew cap. Uh, only thing, only thing that's different is his is a uh, six seven diesel might do some comparison videos. I just that'd be a nice little, neat little video to do um, Between the gas and the diesel Just do some towing maybe some, probably some towing comparisons and stuff like that um, so I'm really thinking about that because that might be a decent video to get on YouTube Because <laughs> they are literally identical the only the biggest difference you're gonna have other than the diesel and well and the other was a 350, but I'm not really too worried about that. If, for those of y'all that don't know, a 250 and 350 are pretty much the same truck. The suspension is one of the only differences that I know of. Um, other than that, motor or transmission, they're the same as far as I know. There's probably some one or two that's different, but for the most part, they're the same exact truck. Um, suspension wise, would be the only thing. But my dad's got some dump trailers. And I got my flatbed trailer we can load up. I, I'm, I'd like to do a comparison on those things. Just to see the differences. Once I get the manifold fixed. Um, should I get that ordered? If y'all are looking for a manifold for one of these 6.2s. Um, really for, for the manifold, bolt, manifold, bolts, gaskets, all that. It was like 200 bucks at fold. Not bad. So I just went with them versus the Dolman or something. Um, but yeah, so... There's probably going to be a lot of videos to come on this truck. Um, so for those of you that are wondering. For those of you that are wondering. Yes, I'm going to put the Bobcat in there at some point. Um, and if anybody asks, the Bobcat okay from the wreck? It is. I got it checked out. Um, he ran it. He load banked it. Took it apart. Just made sure everything was how it should be. Uh, it was like 100 bucks yeah, that looked at. Money well spent in my opinion. Um, so I know the insurance didn't pay for that. But. It's 100 bucks well spent in my opinion so as you, as you can see it's off the skid uh doing that to because i had to bring it over there and have it looked at they probably could have done it with the skid on it with, with it on the skid but i just yanked it off because it wouldn't fit in that truck i didn't want, need to bring a trailer that day so whatever um so this